Hey everyone, Jim here. And if you've been following us for a while, you know we love receiving photographs from our guests taken on tour in some of the various haunted locations we visit across the province. Recently, we've got a very intriguing photo that was taken during our haunted walk experience at Upper Canada Village in Morrisburg, Ontario. And, well, let's take a look. It is a series of two photographs taken at the old schoolhouse in Upper Canada Village. And a few things to point out here in the first photo, you can see our tour guide, Nathan, about to start telling the story. And the other thing I'd like to draw your attention to in the bottom right corner of the frame is you see the leg of one of our guests. That's gonna be important as we take a look at the next shot. Now in this second shot, you can clearly see a dark figure on the right-hand side of the frame. And I'd like to read from the email we received from the guest with the photo. Well, all I can say is that these two pics were taken one right after the other. This was as everyone had settled in just before Nathan was getting ready to talk. In the first pic, everyone had settled into a seat. So nobody passed in front of that guest in the front row or behind her. I took two pics in case the first one didn't turn out, and I wanted to make sure I got the picture before Nathan started talking and telling his story. Didn't want to bother anyone. I should also mention that I wear reading glasses, which I left in the car, so I couldn't see my photos well until I looked at them in the car afterwards and noticed the second photo with the person there. And to confirm, no one was dressed like that as everyone was dressed for summer. Short sleeves, shorts. If you look at the second pic, you can see the woman's foot as she was already seated in the first picture. All this to say, I was watching the whole time and I can easily say no one was in front of the seated woman or passed behind her. As we scroll down in the photo, I'd also like to point out the abnormality regarding the foot of this person or thing, which is quite different from the rest of the body. Now, our tour guides on site after showing this photo did return to the schoolhouse, which is one of the creepiest locations at Upper Canada Village at night, and tried to recreate this photo to see if they could replicate this uh, with the exact same light conditions, people moving in front, and they had no success. Now, it is certainly possible that the photographer and our tour guide may just have forgotten that someone did move at the last moment within the group. But it is a weird picture, and the guest is quite certain. And looking down at that strange leg, well, it certainly is another mystery from the village.